Hey guys, what's, what's up today? Uh, hey, this is Eddie out in the workshop today. I want to make uh, a new video today on a. Uh, I'm going to make a potato pillar, and it's. I know it's kind of weird, but I just decided I wanted to do that. See if, to see if I could to challenge myself to do it. So we're going to attempt to do that today. I've already started on it a little bit with this piece of metal here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this up. And you, you guys have seen a potato pillar. It's got the sharp edges on the, on the inside of it. So when you, when you go across the potato, it takes the pillings off. Or either, either way. So we're going to attempt to do that today. We're going to get the shape out on this. And I've made a jig for my hardy hole to go in here. For this to go in it. And then i got a round bar that I'm beating this down. If you guys remember correctly... Back on the video that I did the, the fillet knife with, I heat treated that blade. Well, it was a failure when I heat treated it. So this is the same kind of metal. So I'm not going to put any heat at all on this on this metal. So we're going to bang this out cold, which is a no-no in the forge, forging, in the blacksmithing or whatever you want to call it. But uh, anyways, that's what we're doing today, and we're going to do that and then. Failure or 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 not a failure. We're gonna do the video. So, and this morning I posted the video on the uh, on the bottle opener. Well, I had a question. If you look at this, it doesn't look like it'll work. So later on in this video, I'm gonna throw out. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that it actually works. And it would actually open a bottle with a lid, with a lid that opens on the bottle. So I may have to run out and get like some soda bottles or something like that that I can pop open. Because I really don't okay, have that's what I'm going to do with the bottle opener, and we're going to work on the potato pillar today. So you guys bear with me. I'll get everything set up, and I'll, I'll show you what the process that I'm doing, and then we can go from there. So thanks for coming along, guys. Here we go. We're going to get started on this. Uh, if I can find what I did with my bar, we're going to start pounding this thing out. Okay, here's my bar. All right, what I want to do is I want to put a curve in that piece of metal. So I'm using this jig and this bar to do that with if it works. But I want to do this without heating it because I don't want to compromise this metal as I did with the fillet knife. Hang with us, guys. I know I don't talk much when I'm doing this stuff, but I get a little concentrated on what I'm doing, and I apologize for that. But as you can see, I do have mistakes. Drop things quite a bit. But uh, I'm hoping this works. As you can see, we got a good start on it, so I want to get it a little, a little smaller up, and bring it more of a curve in here. So I'm going to have to get a smaller bar to do that, and I may use one of my punches to do that with. So let's see if we can find that. <coughs> Excuse me.
Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing to go a little bit smaller. Alright, a little bit better guys. I think we can curve a lot of more of that with the uh I'm gonna put it in the in the vise and I'll move the camera over to where you guys can see that and uh try to form it around this piece of piece of uh metal. Well maybe we can do it this way. Let's see. This metal's pretty stout. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's move the camera over to uh, to the vise, and I'll see if I can get this thing uh, squeezed around. That. Hang on, guys. That's a pretty good view of the vise right now. Let's let's see if we can do that. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in here, and use the force of the vise to squeeze this thing together because I'm telling you it's a lot stronger than I would be trying to force this thing together Seems to be seems to be working. So let's try it one more time. I'll get you a, I'll get you a better view of that, and uh, we'll try to squeeze this in some more. pretty good guys I, I, I want to cut this down some because I don't want to be that uh, that big and try to get this thing a little bit better uh, uniform because it is kind of off so let's take it back over to I don't know let's see if we can maybe hammer it
Need a bigger persuader. Guys, that seems to be working, but uh, I don't know. It's crooked. Let's see, let's see if we can fix that. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Working on it, guys. It's a slow process, but uh, I think we're going to get it there sooner or later. So let's keep uh, let's keep working on it and see what happens. Just so crooked. I don't. I don't understand why it did that. But uh, I'm gonna try to straighten it out. But I don't know if I can or not. So you guys bear with me, and we'll work through this process. That helped out some. Let's see if we can get it to move now. Almost, it's it's coming. It's just slow about doing it. And like I said, this is my first time, so we'll get it. We learn. I love learning new things. A little better. A little bit more.
curved on this end. I think I'm going to use that end for the uh, for the handle. So we're going to be cutting that off anyways, and then bringing it down. So let me get back with you. I'm going to cut this down, and and and, and I'll show you what I have. Okay, guys. Here's the basic shape. Uh, we're going to take. This back piece and we're, we're going to cut a lot of that off so I'm going to make this go into into a handle so it uh has that and a lot of this is going to be coming off also and then the blade part will be in the in the center here which what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut this with the cut wheel but I don't know if it's going to work or not I don't want to go all the way through because I just want it to be in the center here so I may have to get the Dremel out and try to use the Dremel on it. But anyways, uh, that's where we're at with it. We're going to keep working at it. And I'm going to bring you guys along. But uh, right now, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh, mark these and cut them off to where we need our handle at to go up in the handle. So hang on, guys, and I'll get with you in a minute. All right, guys. Uh... There's the handle part. You guys can see that good. We're going to clean this up on the belt grinder and uh, then we're going to start working on the, uh, on the on the cutting piece. The the blade piece on the bottom. Which is going to be tricky. I might have to put some thought into that. So I may, uh, after I clean this up a little bit, I may uh, turn the camera off and then I'll get back with you. So hang with us guys. We're going to clean it up. now that's going to be good and then uh i'm gonna turn the camera off and i'll get back with you in a minute actually i'm gonna make the handle part of this i want to show you what i got done so far all we gotta do is put the slit in the bottom for the uh for the blade the handle will come up on this piece right here this flat piece which it broke off on me, so I had to tack weld it back on there. So I'm going to put the handle on there. I'm going to put a curve on this handle, the reason I have it in the forge. But uh, that's where we're at. So I'm going to bring you guys along and we'll put the curve on the handle.
it gets enough heat on it. I'm trying to pull it out too cool. I'm trying to get in a hurry, but let's get enough heat on it so it will be. result once we get it welded up and uh it's gonna look pretty decent i think so there we go guys hang on hey guys i'm back again uh uh this is what i've done so far i've got a handle on it you guys can see that put a handle on it at the round curves. All right, now what I'm gonna do is hope you can see that. I punched hole. I punched uh, marks on there. I'm gonna drill consecutive holes in there, and then I'm gonna take a file and file through those to start the to make the the, the section for the blades to come out of. So. That's what we're doing now. I'm going to drill these holes and then I'll get back with you and I'll show you what I have. Okay, guys. Uh, here's where I'm at. I got the holes cut in there. And I actually sharpened them. I'm going to show you this thing works as a potato slicer. It would probably need that hole just a little bit bigger, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it like it is, but the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this thing up tremendously to make it shine. So I'm going to show you an attempt to uh, peel, a, peel a potato. So if you guys see it, hope you can see us. This thing works like a charm, man. See how good that works? I hope you guys seen that video. Hope you guys can see it. But uh, there we go. There's the, the potato cutter. Potato slicer. Pillar. I'll get it right here in a minute. All right, we're going to clean this up, and I'll get back with you, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, guys. First ever potato pillar. I got it done. I didn't think I could do it, but it's, it turned out pretty decent, man. Uh, this would go very, very well with my camp set. Uh, 
just another item I added to my camp set. So, there you go. Potato pillar. Now, I promised you that I would do the, the, the bottle opener to show you that it does work. So, hang with us, and we're going to get that, and, and, and we'll finish up the video, and then we'll go from there. Hang with us, guys. Work like a charm, guys. Only thing I want to do is I want to season this. Just as I did with the uh, the silverware set and the, uh, all my other camp camp set stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, I promised you that I would uh, that I would open this on camera. As everybody can see, it's IBC root beer. I love root beer, man. So we're going to pop this top with the bottle opener. I'm hoping you guys can see me. Uh, but uh, it's placed on there like that. And you just position it and popped. Pretty cool, huh, guys? I like it. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. All right, I, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video today of the potato pillar. And I hope you guys have a blessed and safe day. God bless you. See you on the next one.